Hey everyone, Jim Saffold. Uh, this week's video is going to be on survival and the preparation we have taken uh, in our houses. Um, <clears throat> boiled it down to a couple of categories. Um, water, food, shelter, security, power, medicine, uh, reserves for each of those items, and then entertainment. Um, we'll get started. I'll try to move pretty quick. So the first couple categories we can knock out together, food and water. Um, I always keep a couple of cases of water and then backups elsewhere. This is drinking water. My wife doesn't like cold drinking water, so she takes straight from here. And then uh, you can see we got three cases there. Also, we got the, the tap water. Obviously, in a compromised situation, the bottled water would be easier or better, but you can always boil it. Um, hurricane, we keep uh, a Culligan tower with a five gallon jug and we keep um, usually five on hand during hurricane season. It's just my wife and I, so less for quite a while. Um, you can see the, uh, the reserves. We keep four spares and then the actual inside. The tower. Back to the pantry with regards to the food, um, we stocked up pretty well as far as canned goods. Um, those are uh, the simplest to maintain. They take up the least amount of space and each one fills you up pretty good uh, and somewhat healthy. You know, obviously the salt inside of a lot of these things are designed to keep them preserved for a long time. But we keep a lot of um, quick snacks, high protein. The trail mix, thanks Rob Margrander, I saw that in his and I wanted to make sure I uh, implemented that. Uh, great for, like he said, taking trips and um, it's, it's high protein, fills you up and it's not necessarily uh, the worst thing you can eat as compared to the uh, brownie bites. Um, MREs, got a new case I keep uh, on hand. I have a case uh, in my closet to keep uh, for hurricane prep for work um i don't like to leave them outside or in my car because they the weather is just uh it's not controlled enough inside the ac these things last a really long time i got one two three four five six that i could grab uh help me sustain for uh three days like uh is required from the sheriff's office we get the call we have to go and our family is left you know to take care of themselves so obviously we have to think ahead I try to think ahead for my all of my family, my daughters, and uh, their significant others to make sure that we have enough on hand. They all live close and they stay. They'll probably come here in, the, in an emergency. Other items that we have are, uh, you know, uh, non-perishables, uh, ramen noodles, um, and then other cheese and crackers and stuff like that that you can, uh, you know, snack on, keep... Uh, keep you going for a while. Uh, staple in my house is uh, mac and cheese. We try to keep uh, a lot on hand. My grandson loves those things. And apple juice, obviously. So uh, quite a bit of that at the bottom. I usually drink water. So as far as uh, shelter goes, I'm pretty sure my family will probably end up here at my house with my wife. My son is a firefighter and well-versed in everything in my house so that when I leave, he is in charge and knows how to find and operate everything that will uh, sustain the family. Um, hurricane shutters for, for the house. Um, I, I Usually when we get a named storm, I will uh, apply those with my son just so that uh, that's one less concern. And it does get them up and then the uh, screws and bolts getting turned and worked. That way they're not rusted on or damaged or missing. Um, see an extra case of water running a little bit low out here um, usually keep one or two out here just for exercise and I'm a, an exercise junkie since uh, COVID-19. My garage is pretty much turned into my gym so I installed some some bungees that uh, that'll come in later as far as the entertainment goes if, uh, if I was fortunate enough to be home. Um, with reference to power inside of the shelter I have a, uh, a generator 5500 Ryobi I pull it out of the garage at least every two months. Um, I just did it last, eh, about two weeks ago, 
fire it up, make sure the gas and the fluids are all good. It starts real quick. I keep a uh, window shaker air conditioner so that uh, the largest room is the master suite. My wife and I you know, can keep that room temperature controlled and we don't uh, overheat and uh, we don't have to cool the entire house. Just keep that room sealed off and it's got a bathroom, pretty much everything you need. Um, two gallon or two five gallon jugs. I have another one in my car um, that uh, I'm gonna fill up that will sustain us for uh, almost a week uh, running the um, generator with the air conditioner and a couple of other things like the refrigerator um, and some odds and ends to um, charge and light the house. Um, I keep uh, several extension cords so that uh, I can keep the generator a safe distance from the house, secure it to a tree out front, and then run the power into the house and then power items from within the house. We've, we've run through it and uh, I know exactly how to set it all up, can get it all done within like 15 minutes and that way the house is good to go for the family while I'm gone. So uh, working for the sheriff's office, being in law enforcement, I take security pretty seriously. This is a, a little bit of uh, some of the items, by no means all that uh, we have on hand in, in case of an emergency, uh, in particular uh, hurricane or power outage. Um, obviously uh, weaponry and backup ammunition keep quite a bit on hand, just enough to make me not look fanatical, but um, right on the line, I guess. Uh, batteries and flashlight a must but obviously uh, the battery is only powered as long as the or the flashlight is only going to last as long as the battery so uh, we keep a good supply on hand for backup candles there's candles everywhere in this house my wife loves candles so these these large candles are great because they burn slow and for a long time um, smell good too um, being able to light them, it's no good to have a candle if you can't make fire. Obviously, we've discussed the benefits of fire. And then communications. Um, communications are everything. This is a, uh, a crank up radio. You can get uh, AM and FM. Um, old school, but it does the job. Um, crank up the antenna, tune in, and you can find out uh, what's, what's going on uh, with the media or whatever's being broadcast without a battery. And... Just uh, keep cranking, you can keep getting the info. Um, the, the other thing, you can see me charging one of my cameras here. We have uh, six throughout our property, capture uh, everything that goes on around our house and all of the points of entry. Um, nice system, highly recommend the Arlo. It's not gonna get you a license plate tag of a car going down the street, but you can definitely see that combined with like a ring doorbell. Um, you know everything that's going on uh, in and around your house, that's for sure. So without getting too personal, um, headaches, medicine, uh, first aid supplies are extremely necessary during a survival situation. Um, COVID-19, my wife stocked up on all the cough and cold medications and now that's you know gonna run us over right through until well, they expire or the end of the year. Um, wife has asthma, so we don't mess around with the albuterol. We keep a maximum uh, supply on hand for uh, for breathing uh, should she need a treatment. Um, and then the, the cough and cold and the everyday items that you use uh, need for cuts and scrapes or minor injuries. So earlier we were discussing uh, entertainment. What are you going to do with all the time that you have if you're going to be stuck at home? Um, this this is definitely the, the place that my family will congregate and we've <laughs> always been game junkies uh our whole family uh, if there's a board game it's on one of these two shelves and uh break them out every once in a while it helps to pass the time and uh it keeps the the kids and adults busy it gives us something to do keep your mind moving and keep from getting bored um i also mentioned earlier the uh the exercise our gym was closed at this community, so I uh, hung up the, the bungee system, high, middle, and low, so that I can do a, a complete workout, and I've been doing that for about three months now, staying in pretty good shape. I think a key point is reserves, and what are you going to do when you run out of the supplies that you had? Um, I'm fortunate enough to live right off of a pond 
which is rich with uh, sunfish, bluegill, some tilapia I've caught out of there, largemouth bass, uh, quite a bit of those that is sustainable. I could I could stay, catch, and, and actually cook and eat. I catch and release now, and there's some good sized fish in there. Um, the, the trails behind on the other side of that berm go back about a mile to I-75. There's another larger lake back there with uh, much larger animals uh, that would sustain my family. We've got fishing poles and bow and arrow, obviously rifles and pistols. Um, anything we could need, we have on hand and we have backups. So I feel like we're pretty ready. Another uh, benefit of living out here is uh, barbecue. We can grill with this gas grill. Um, should last quite a long time. As long as you can keep the meat good in the refrigerator, you can grill it up out here. I always keep a spare can. So we, we pretty much, I pretty much live by two is one, one is none kind of motto. So stock up and then you won't have to worry. If, if I have to leave, I leave and everybody in my family knows where everything is and then uh, they can survive on their own. If not, you know, a phone call. As long as communications are working, um, you can guide them through whatever I need to. Just unfortunately can't be here. Uh, you see the fishing poles and then uh, tackle box was also in there by the gas cans and that uh, that should do. That should sustain us for a while. The chimney, I cover it up in the, the rainy season, keep it from getting too weather beaten, but um, the top of that can be used as a grill also. You put a grate across the top, put the smoke and fire into the, the bottom portion, and uh, voila, you have another grill. So that's a uh, little bit of the preparation that I've had or taken in, in case of an emergency uh, to help my family survive. Uh, things that I need or would like, um, uh, I would like to get some night vision optics uh, it's not as expensive as it sounds or you would think um, and comes in very handy especially in in my line of work and living so close to the edge of the woods um, other item that i'm going to pick up is the uh, fire starting sticks the magnesium sticks you just scratch them together and boom you get a fire um, having a, a good time haven't had much of a a problem even with the COVID, everybody's been healthy, staying sane, getting back to it now. Um, just registered for my next set of classes, so uh, everything going good. Hopefully everybody else is doing well, and we'll talk to you in a week.